let me tell you something. Whenever you risk your freedom, your family, your God-given opportunities and abilities just to be a street nigga, you become a dumb nigga. Whenever you risk your life in prison, just to ball for six months out here in these streets, you become a dumb Negro. Let me tell you something. There's a rapper out there by the name of Chef G that God blessed, man, with a career in the rap music, right? Where he was starting to get a little money and a little fame, man, and he was starting to make some noise. But he took all that money that God blessed him with in that rap game, man, and funded hits on his ops. He paid the eight Trey Crips in the nine ways games to carry out hits on his ops. And when they went out there and hit his ops up, he took them to dinner. He gave them gold chains and all kind of flashy shit just cause they hit his ops up. Check this out. If Chef said something, it happened. A simple text. We gotta get a big one. That simple text created a war. The gang members used more than 30 guns to threaten or eliminate their rivals, proudly posting and boasting on social media phone videos. This surveillance video, where they pop out with guns from a sunroof and window, shows one of the street shootings included in the case. The DA says charges include murder, attempted murder, weapons possession, and other crimes. In total, Gonzalez says there was one murder, four attempted murders, and 12 non-fatal shootings. Man, let me tell you something, man. Real street dudes, man, that's out here in these streets, man. We ain't finna go celebrate no murder at no goddamn Manhattan Steakhouse. We ain't going no steakhouse to celebrate no murder. We celebrate victories in life. We celebrate making it out the ghetto, man. We ain't celebrate cause we hit the ops up. Man, let me tell you something. The op ain't near your neighborhood, man. The op is the IRS. They trying to take your money. The op is the police. They trying to take your freedom. The op is anybody that's trying to mess with your money and your family. The op ain't no people that look like you, man. Y'all got the wrong perspective on life. Y'all want to be street niggas so bad when real street niggas trying to make it out the street. Y'all got to stop doing that. Y'all living backwards, man. Y'all throwing away y'all whole life. Y'all ain't nothing but 20. Some of y'all 23, 19 years old. Now they getting 16 and 15 years old. Throwing away your whole life just to be street street niggas. If you really grew up in these streets, if you know anything about these streets, you know you don't want to be out here. If God provide you any kind of car to make it up out these streets, man, then you know you got an opportunity to never starve and be in poverty and live in the ghetto ever in your life. The only time you supposed to go back to the ghetto is when you're giving back, fool. When you making murders, man, when you out here making money, man, selling dope, man, and they got the warrants on you and shit like that, when the FBI on your ass and the feds watching your ass, you ain't never gonna rip the glory of being a hood ghetto superstar, man. Cause look at Big Meech, man, he locked up. His son getting the glory. His brother getting the glory, but he locked up. Chef G, I don't care who it is. I don't care who get locked up, man. When you get locked up, man, for them federal crimes, man, they gonna make sure that it's publicized to make you out of example or a statistic. It ain't cool being locked up when you made all this money or you done hit your ops up. Man, the niggas in prison that you finna see is straight strangers. They don't care about you hitting up your ops. Because your ops ain't they ops. Fool. Instead of trying to strive to be street niggas, man, start striving to do stuff in your community. Start striving to do things in your ghetto. Y'all could come together, man, and film all these fights in the hood and put them on World Star. You could come together and film a movie. Y'all could come together and shoot at each other. But y'all could come together and pay for these goddamn football pads for the kids to go up there and goddamn be in the NFL one day. Or you could pay for the courts to have new nets for the kids. Kids could grow up and be in the NBA one day. Y'all could get together for violence, fighting and arguing and call yourself got ops with people. You could get together, man, and change the world and make a difference in the world. Y'all make sure y'all subscribe to my channel. Y'all make sure y'all share this video. Y'all make sure y'all like this video. And y'all make sure y'all comment below. Because being a gangster ain't what you think it is. Rich is gangster, man. We the business.